Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to use the suest command in Stata. So what is that? I could uh, blab on about it but I think the easiest thing is just to show you the command in action and then talk you through it. In order to do so I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to go ahead and preload the census 13 data set in Stata typing this command and then I'm going to just do a quick little regression here uh, where pop is population and MR great is marriage rate. I'm just going to enter these commands simultaneously, but I'm also going to show you, you know, if you go in here, uh, you can see, for example, here's pop, the dependent variable in my analysis, and then marriage rate is over here. And I just, I just picked these at, at random. I just wanted to be able to generate, you know, regression output um, so I can demonstrate what suest is. Now, we've done one regression. Let's go ahead and store that, okay? And let's call it marriage. So we'll use the command estimate store, and then this is our name. I'm just calling it marriage because that was our independent variable. And just press enter. Now what we're going to do uh, second time, we're going to do an other regression, okay? And this time we're going to regress divorce rate on population. And I'm going to store the estimates, and I'm going to call them divorce, which is intuitive, right? The first one was marriage. So now we've just created estimates and we've stored them. So we have an estimate called marriage and one called divorce. And we can see that each of these estimates pertains to one regression model. So here's the suest command. I'm, I'm just going to type it in and let you see it in action. Here it is. It's a suest. And then I'm just listing the two names of the estimates that I created, marriage and divorce. I press enter. And all of a sudden, you can see the parameters kind of next, you know, next to each other in, in, in a single table, which is, you know, kind of a useful thing to do. Uh, sort of one thing that, again, I saw this in the Stata blog, uh, the, there was a discussion of also how to compare the uh, intercepts, you know, and for that, you can use this code that I'm pasting in. And note that marriage mean has already been created over here and divorce mean and, you know, uh, the intercept or, or the constant is what has been put in over here. And you can kind of test that here. We see that the constants are not, uh, you know, significantly equal to each other because your probability is over 0 0.5, 0 0.05. Uh, anyway, so that's the SUES command in a nutshell, nutshell. And you'll you'll notice that one cool thing about it is if you're going to run a whole bunch of models, which I didn't do here, I didn't want to bore you to death, but, you know, if, if you do a bunch of models one after the other, uh, you can just go ahead and store you know, all of their names. And then later you can go on in and create a table that has all of those results, you know, here for you to look at. So you don't have to just scroll from, you know, table to table to check out the models. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. And I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com, we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore, we work very closely with you in order to perfect your Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day, you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter four uh, following a perfect chapter three and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.